Ladies and gentlemen, the real Paul Jones welcoming you to another edition of City Championship Wrestling, where we have an action-packed card. In the opening match, we're going to see Just in Time face off against Ajon Games. After that, Tommy Destiny, after taking a beating from the other two members of New Albania, finally gets his match against Andre Kabashi. And in the main event, the Darion Nation is going to face off against the Detroit Dynasty. Stay with us. It's time for City Championship Wrestling. As I said before, I am the real Paul Jones. On the commentary booth tonight, the legendary A.T. Huck and Bubba McKenzie. And folks, let's bring out our first competitor of our opening contest, just in time. Woo! Yo, yo, CCW, let me get some noise for y'all. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Well, like Justin, that. you've been making noise here at City Championship Wrestling over the last month. You've had some dealings with New Albania. Things haven't been going your way. A lot of underhanded, well, I'll have to watch my language. A lot of BS if you ask me, Paul. And if I could, I would, but I don't want them to take it out my paycheck and find me, so I don't have time for that. But what I do have time for is enough of the disrespect. I'm tired of it. Every single week, every single time I enter in this ring, and I mean it when I say this, Jones, New Albania attacks me. You know how irritating that is? Uh, sadly, I do. I come here. Deal I, I have to deal with enough pain and enough aggravation in my regular day life. But this is all I care about. This right here. And to have every single individual from not only New Albania, but then we got the, the uh, Darion Nation the leader himself. Coming in, in uh, the, what, the master of pain and destruction? Did you guys see what he did to me? The blood vessel from my left eye had to heal. I almost did, couldn't, I couldn't see out of this eye for at least two days. I was blind. Well, do you feel like that's going to affect you in your competition tonight? No, because the doctor said I'm cleared. He told me that I'm okay. And as long as I got fight in me, I don't care if I have no arms, no legs. It don't matter if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, two on one, three on one, four on one, or five on one. I'm tired of all this individuals trying to hurt me and mess with me. I'm done with it. So now I'm taking charge. I'm ready for the fight. I'm ready. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. Rather, it's New Albania, Darion Nation. It don't matter. Well, tonight it is gonna be one-on-one -on -one against Asian Gaines. So I like to think that all that underhanded crap isn't going to happen tonight. Facts, facts. And you know, I respect the man like Ajon. Watching Ajon for, and I've known him for a very long time. Very long time. I've seen the things he can do in that ring. It's a tough competitor. Somebody who knows his, his stuff. He knows his craft. He understands this. He loves wrestling. Not only he was screwed by Lance Starr, not only he was screwed by Aaron Ashura, not only he's been nothing but polite to me and practically a lot of people here, I see him as a good competitor. And I'm ready for that fight. But I ain't scared. I ain't scared, not at all. But let's see, let's, let's see how he feel. Let's see how he feel. Well, let's see. Let's bring him on out. What up, though? Let's get a handshake. Heck yeah. Listen, I appreciate everything you said. I heard it loud and clear. But don't disrespect. I don't need your back. I don't need your back. I don't need nobody's back. Because apparently around here at CCW, I got to have my own back because I can't trust nobody. Being a good competitor is not enough. Everybody got to cheat to win. Got to be dirty to get a pinfall. So, you know, you, you see where I'm coming from right now? You, you got from. problems? I got problems, too. All I'm saying is I can't. Can't be running around here chesting nobody, man. I just can't do it no more. I mean, I, I, I feel you, bro. And it's not like I'm trying to run around trusting other people either. After you saw what happened between me and Darion and the master of pain and suffering last week. You get my pain, right? You get how hard it is to trust people in this world? Now, I'm not trying to make, make it seem like you're, you're a bad guy or anything, bro. But all I did was just try to tell you that you're a good dude. And you're coming over here saying that, oh, you don't want to trust people. Did you read the board on the back? 
This ain't a tag team match. We ain't teaming up here. I respect you. I really do. And I want you to look me in the eyes when I'm talking to you. Look me in the eyes. Don't disrespect me. Because this ain't no play stuff. Now I'm being I'm for real. Right at you. I'm being I'm for real. Right at you. I'm being for real. Listen, I'm like, like I real. said before. Put your finger out my face. Get your finger out my face. I appreciate what you said. I don't need your back. I don't need your back. I don't need your back. So don't disrespect me like that. Don't try to walk up with me like that. You lucky between us. I'm trying to be a gentleman. I'm trying to be a nice guy. Just like you. I'm trying to be the nice guy here. Don't do this. I'm done being a nice guy. Did you hear that loud and clear? Don't play with me, though. Okay. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Look, I don't care if you want to be nice to each other, but you will be respectful of one another. Respect me. That's what I've come to expect from the two of you. Now, this little display is very out of character for both of y'all. Now, I need to remind you, Aaron Ashura, when he turned his back on you in that tag team match, that was when he joined the Darion Nation. This man's had trouble with the Darion Nation. You've had trouble with New Albania. He's had trouble with New Albania. But check this out. Aaron had trouble with the Darion Nation. And guess what he did to me? He turned his back on me. So what is he going to do? I got to put my guard down because he got problems too? Ain't nobody out here like Aaron and Shura running around with some bums. I'm not running out here with bozos. You understand me? Justin Tom, high key, prefers being, being the top guy, the man around here. And I understand you and I, we have a long history. All I'm telling you is just keep it clean. Nobody out here trying to disrespect you. So stop getting in my face. Stop pointing your fingers in my face. Don't look at me with that smug smile nah. before I take it off hey, your Hey, you face. walked up on me first. You walked up on me first. Because you out here acting cocky talking about some, oh, oh, I don't hey, need listen, nobody. No, listen, check Everybody turn their no, back on me. Listen, you don't see listen. me out here crying? Look. I'm crying? Yeah, you crying. I'm crying. Yeah. All I'm trying to do is express how I feel. So don't try to turn this out on me. Look, man. I know you haven't been having a good streak going on lately. I know you haven't. You've been having some fair matches, but every time I step in the ring with somebody, they cheat, they lying, mm -hmm. and they stealing my games. And I'm not playing with that, man. I'm not playing with that. Well, neither I'm am I. So instead of, instead of all the chit chat, so, let's get in that ring because it's my time now. It's my time now. Well, folks. I still expect this to be a respectful and on-the-level contest. Whoa, Bubba, the heat has really turned up here in City Championship <laughs> Wrestling. It certainly Just has. in time and A. John Gaines had some strong words for each other. Well, certainly both men have been on the receiving end of less than legal tactics by more than one faction here at City Championship Wrestling. Namely, New Albania and the Darion Nation. Yeah, they're, they're the cause of a lot of this tension. It started off kind of cool and collected, and now it's turned into a real competition hey, hey. between these two. Uh, ring the bell. Two fine, outstanding young athletes here, A.T. Huck. Eve, evenly matched. I'm a little surprised at the amount of jaw jacking going on in this. So they're early still going at it, man. Look at them, man. Here. Both of these guys are evenly matched. Been in the business about the same amount of time. Ajon maybe a little longer. Maybe. Feeling how process has begun here between time and gains. Ajon gains claiming the center of the ring. And you can feel the tension in the air. You certainly can. Thick like syrup in here. But well, one thing we don't have to worry about is interference by New Albania. Very conspicuous by their absence. Big J. Abrams, Trevor Strahd, the rest of New there, Albania. Is something going on with New Albania? I know they were talking about a new regime at one Very point. Very rare occurrence to see Andre Kabashi out here solo. But look at the match we're having in the ring right now. Both of these competitors don't want to lose. Neither one of them. Nice reversal into that waist lock by just in time now. Here we have Gaines reversing in kind, able to break that grip with that elbow point. Even though it got hot and heavy, I think they're going to keep this match clean and see who's the best wrestler. 
pretty evenly matched up so far in the early stages of this bout. Newark, New Jersey's finest just in time now. Full Nelson applied by Ajon Gaines in the center of the ring. It looks like a reversal into a headlock by just in time. No wasted motion in either one of these men. Big shoulder tackle. Just in time, sending a message to Ajon Gaines. An exclamation point, if you will. Look at him go, Bubba. Big what do we have line. here? Gaines now showing the upper hand. Fire and brimstone, he courtesy of Ajon Gaines. Two count only, but I think the volume has been turned up on this matchup. It definitely has, Bubba. Ajon Gaines has really taken it to just in time. Big Two close line. Two of the top young elbows. Lions here in City Championship Wrestling. Putting it all on the line here, folks. Big whip into the corner. No. Just in time Beautiful was able to reverse that. By time. With a big spin kick. Look at that spinning leg lariat. Big belly to back. And look at the Two bridge by only. just in time. Adds a little more pressure to keep the shoulders down, but he was only able to get a two count. Time looking at the referee in disbelief. That was only a two count. I have to say, it's leg. quite refreshing to see an actual wrestling match without all the interference, it without New Albania, is. without Darion Nation interfering. I, for one, am just happy not to see the ultimate master of pain and destruction up on the ringside apron. Well, I hope he's not or, here tonight. Or the big gun, Jay Abrams, for that matter. Just keep the ultimate master away from me. That's all I got to say. Time just going to work on the left leg of Ajon Gaines here, Huck. And we could get a submission just in time working over that, that knee. Pain evident on the face of Gaines here. That's painful. He's going to need to improve his position. But for every hold, there's a counter. Let's see if Ajon knows the counter. Now Justin's standing up and he's working over that, that ankle. ankle. Oh, you know Spinning what that means. Hold. Going into a figure four. Setting he up for that figure four. And there you have it. And he has it hooked in. He's applying the pressure, Bubba. He certainly spent his time setting up Ajon Gaines. He could actually get a submission or a four. pin count out of this. If his shoulders stay down, one, two, three. They're going to have to be cognizant of that fact. Absolutely, A.T. Huck. Referee looking on. He's watching. Oh, he's able to roll able it over. Able to reverse it now is Gaines. The pressure, unbelievable. The pain and agony now being felt by just in time. So evident, reaching for those bottom ropes. It looks like he has it, Bubba. Referee telling Gaines to break the hole now. You got to wonder who's worse for the wear. Both, Both of them should be suffering. sporting their knees. Both Absolutely. of them are in pain. And you can tell Ajon was able to only get to the midsection with that drop kick because he's in pain, Bubba. Certainly didn't look like he got all of it that he wanted. Front face lock applied. Able to evade that suplex this time. Back into the waist lock. Fire him carry. Oh, and he just drops him Dumped on his head. him off like a barrel of yesterday's pickles. He kicked out, though, Bubba. But he just dropped him right on his back and right on the back of his head. And it's a very hot night here at City Championship Wrestling. Even the wear and tear is showing on the faces and bodies of both time and Gaines. And now the frustration is showing with Justin Time just clubbing him to the back. Just unleashing a flurry of closed fists and forearms. Both men have to Referee be tired. Referee warning Time about those closed fists. Not just the heat, but the bright lights is taking a toll on both competitors. 
Gaines able to work out of that face lock and into that chin cracker. Looks like he's setting him up for something, has Looks Justin. Like he's measuring time now. Wait a second. Able to evade that big kick. Out of the way once again is Gaines. Devastation the the there. And that's it. There you have it. Three count. Your winner, Ajon Gaines, here at City Championship Wrestling. Folks, what a fantastic opening matchup. Now, before we get to Mr. Destiny, Andre Kabashi is scheduled for an interview. Paul Jones, I have a very good reason for an interview tonight because things are confusing me in City Championship Wrestling. Things are really confusing me. How is it that Tommy Destiny loses to two new Albanian members and then he gets a shot at me? How does that work, Paul Jones? What's going on? You're pulling some tricks on us? I think that you're just concerned that you can't finish off the set. Get the trifecta, Paul Jones, the hat what do you trick. Know about a set? Let me tell you something. You are acting like a real pilot right now. When I invented that word, this face, and that stupid comment is what I pictured. Your idiotic glasses. Look at this. Yeah, now I look like a palacho, believe it or not, with these stupid glasses, the stupid hair, the stupid meeker, this stupid suit, Paul Jones, and you're a stupid man for thinking I, of all people, can't beat Tommy Destiny. First of all, Darian Ultra beat him. So the mathematics of it, let's do a multiplication, division, adding, whatever. That means I can beat Tommy Destiny 15 times in a row, maybe even 20, before I break a sweat. Speaking of which, you're just looking sweaty right now. What's wrong? Paul Jones, light got you. You're going to faint? What's wrong? Well, it's hot as a stove in here. Oh, yeah, I'll bet. Because I'm here, and that's what happens every night. That Andre Kabashi is in the building. I turn the heat up, baby. And you know something else, Paul Jones? I do a lot better talking in the ring than I do out here. And I'm going to show you right now what's going to happen to Tommy Destiny. Why don't you just worry about walking the walk, Kabashi? Well, now, folks, let's go ahead and bring out the better half of this match, Tommy Destiny. Now, Mr. Destiny, as Kabashi pointed out, you did not come out on top against the other two members of New Albania. But here at City Championship Wrestling, the front office saw an opportunity for quite a good contest between the two of you. You feel like you can take it to the boss tonight? Oh, I know I can take it to the boss tonight. They probably think Andre's the weakest, so that's why they are ribbing me and giving me him last. Well, he certainly... Uh, not a diminutive ego, that's for sure. Ah, uh, what a delusional man. You know, Albania is just as silly as the new Twitter logo. This should be a fun one. Well, I'm sure it will be. Why don't we get to it, Mr. Destiny? The party. Well, there you have it, fans. This matchup here, Tommy Destiny fighting off against the... Leader of New Albania, their fearless leader, Andre Kabashi. I am Bubba McKenzie alongside my broadcast partner, the legendary A.T. Huck. Huck, what do you think about this matchup? Well, you know what? I hate to say it. I kind of agree with Kabashi. Aren't you supposed to beat the other two guys before you get to the leader? He lost to both of them. I mean, and I now he gets a match with Kabashi. Hey. It's what it is. I, I hate to admit it. I can't argue with your logic there, Huck. But here we have Tommy Destiny, Roseville, oh. California's finest. Oh. And look at Kabashi just working him over in the oh. midsection with those big knees, just oh. taking the air out of his body. Well, you know, when you got Andre Kabashi in the ring, you're not looking at rock-solid wrestling technique necessarily. But what you're seeing is vitriol, viciousness, and outright aggression. And, and what is that? That's not a figure four. That's some type of modified figure four. He's trying to reap the knee of Tommy Destiny there. And like we said earlier, Kabashi's out here by himself. No big J. Abrams or Trevor Stroud. Yeah, that's side. Very, very unusual. Here we have a roll of Tommy Destiny. He almost got him. That was a two and a half. Kabashi just well in the way with those forearms. Sharp elbows and Big forearms. Big snap mare out of the, the corner. Leader. leader 
of the Albanian nation now going to work on Tommy Destiny here. And he's just cranking it up. Look at him pound away at his chest. Just brutality. Just Albanian meat slaps one after the other. Albanian meat slaps. That's the new one. Softening him up as if he were making a batch of burdick. Wait a second. What do we have here? Just blatant disrespect once again. And he just kicks him right in the side what? of the face. And he's definitely P1 tonight because he's all by himself. Hey, t Huck, I still, I'm a little flabbergasted by the concept of this P1 that Andre Kobashi. You know, I heard it has something about. to do with NASCAR, maybe. Is that what it is? P1? The I, I, pole position? Is that the, the number one position? It could be. You don't necessarily think of a large Albanian presence when it comes to NASCAR, but here we have Andre Kobashi now. Just Wait, putting the heavy boots to him, Bubba. Into Tommy Destiny. He's working over that knee. He was working on the leg a second ago, and he's gone back to it. This is not a pretty wrestling match, ladies and gentlemen. What it is is a beatdown so far. Another disrespectful boot to the side of the face. And let's pay attention to those boots of Andre Kabashi while we're at it, Huck. Those aren't traditional you know, wrestling boots. Those look like Albanian military issue, if you ask me. Well, his whole get-up is military. Camouflage pants. Does the referee even check to see if those are steel toe or not? I'd, I'd have to wonder. Referee looking on very concerned about Tommy Destiny here. Well, Kabashi's not breaking the rules. Those are legal forearms to the chest. Shots reverberating all the way here to the broadcast position, A.T. Huck. He's just pounded on this Tommy Destiny. I have to say, though, I, I feel like Kabashi looks almost at a loss for what else to do with Tommy Destiny. He's given him just about everything he has, and Destiny's still coming at him. Oh, but he just fired out of that corner with that big clothesline. Cutting off Destiny in the middle of the ring is Andre Kabachi. He shut out that corner like a rocket. But now he's taking advantage of Tommy Destiny, working him over in the ropes, has his foot on, the, on his throat. Referee admonishing Andre Kabashi, but of course he does have up to the count of five, A.T. Huck. Yeah, and he can break and then go right back to it, but that's up to the referee's discretion if he disqualifies him. We got to be in the double digits if we're counting the number of just straight up stomps. But Kibashi they're all, they're all legal though, Bubba, with the flat of the foot, they not with the point of the toe. They are, and they've been very effective thus far. Now it looks like he has him hooked in some type of submission. Referee looking on again, once again, very concerned, checking that, make sure that isn't a well, choke. Looks like he reached the ropes. One, two, Tommy was able to use his wherewithal to, to get, grab the bottom rope and get out, out of, of that. Out of desperation, Destiny able to break the count, but still on his back. Kabashi pulled him into the singer. Once again, into the Kibashi center. looking to reap that knee. Wait a second, Destiny firing off. Series of kicks, but he looks pretty drained by now, Huck. Oh, big axe that. handle smash. Oh, yeah, big Polish hammers. Got him up for that big slam. Big scoop slam in the center of the ring. Tommy Destiny finding some sign of life here. Looks like after he's setting him up for something, down. Bubba. He's going up to the second rope. What do we have here? Get down there. Waited just a little too long, and Kabashi was able to get out of Not the way. Not quite sure what Destiny was trying to accomplish there, but as him turned Kibashi over that half crab, the single leg crab now, and that's it. And tapping out Tommy Destiny, the leader of New Albania, Andre Kabashi. Welcome back to City Championship Wrestling, where the Detroit Dynasty is in the ring and set to go for the main event against the Darion Nation, Darion Ultra, and the ultimate master of pain and suffering. Get over here, Paul. As a matter of fact, it's good to see you, Paul. And Huck, I want you to pay close attention. Make sure you put them bifocals on and make sure you put your reading glasses on and get a good look at what we're about to do to Detroit Dynasty. Well, look, the Detroit Dynasty, I saw what happened last week. I was 
busy with some other work for the front office, but I saw the disrespect that you put on A.T. Huck. No, what about the disrespect he put on me, huh? What about all the things he said to me? I didn't say anything if you go back and watch. I didn't really say anything. I was just trying to give the man some advice, but obviously he didn't want to listen. So now Detroit Dynasty is going to listen, and you're going to have to watch, and so is Huck. Let's go, Ultimate Master. Well, folks, let's get to the main event. Bubba, Bubba. See, I didn't say a word tonight, and they're out here talking about me already. I don't know what the preoccupation with you is by the Darion Nation. Bubba. I have no idea. But right now, they need to be much more concerned with their opponents on the other side of that ring. Abdul Hakim, Dave Weston, the Detroit Dynasty. <laughs> Bubba, 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 race. I merely caught, said it like I saw it. He Be talked down. about how Father Marquise is part of the Darion Nation. He talked about um, Dante Kasem, but I never see him. All I ever see is the ultimate master. I was here, Huck. I saw it. But here we have Abdul Hakim in the early stages. Very fired up, going to work early on Darion Ultra. In this Detroit dynasty, there's a, they're on fire tonight. They certainly are, tagging in Dave Weston. Big double kick maneuver. And Darion Ultra is tiptoeing through the tulips in the early stages of this bout. Well, it looked like they had done their homework, but they Once weren't watching again. out for that ultimate master. Once again, the equalizer that is the ultimate master of pain and destruction. Big closed fist out of the view of the official there, Huck. And he's just working him over now. Just slammed his head into that turnbuckle. And now here comes the ultimate master. Just like that, the Darion Nation has stalled the momentum of the Detroit Dynasty. And look at him. He's going right for the head, just like Thor. Go for the head. Scary Von Eric now going to work on Dave. I'm sorry, the, uh, the ultimate master. I'm stealing a line from my broadcast partner, A.T. Huck. That's what he is to me, Bubba. Look at him. He's just insane. Oh, my God. Well, look, Darian's talking about me again. Did you hear the contact reverberating? Dave Weston whistling Dixie. See, Bubba, now. that's why I'm not doing interviews tonight. I'm sitting here behind the announce table because I don't want any trouble. Big knife edge chap dropped from the ultimate master, and I am just flabbergasted. I think he took some skin off of his chest, Bubba. And look at those kicks. He's a third-degree black belt. And he just ate the boot. The ultimate master doesn't seem to be maybe the leader in the intellect department, but he certainly brings the aggression. Well, he let the ultimate master work him over, and now he's picking up the scraps. He didn't do any of this work. Well, Darion Ultra has made a habit. Big backbreaker now. Maybe Ultra, I, of course. You make sure you get this. See, he's busy paying attention to me. Almost got counted out. Almost got a three count. And here comes Hakeem. Hakeem. For the Detroit Dynasty. Big hill kick just took him off his feet. Did. House of Fire now. Abdul Hakim. Standing moonsault. But here he comes. He has him, has him by the noggin. And he's squeezing, but he's not the legal man in the ring, Bubba. Referee trying to gain some control. Oh, there it is. Ignoring the referee's but, five count. But I don't think they care, Bubba. They just want to administer, administer some punishment. Darian Ultra cutting off Dave Weston. I don't know what he calls Spending this man, but he's squeezing. He's unconscious. Abdul Hakim now convulsing. And Dave Weston's out here on the floor. He is out. Referee 
will not do anything to break the grip of the ultimate master of pain and destruction. You know, they're going to have to get fined if they keep this up, Bubba. Because he could seriously injure someone.